Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Christina Turkovich and I'm a chiropractor in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. And I've taken care of hundreds of patients having issues with low back pain, neck pain, nerve pain, posture problems, and so much more. Stay tuned because in this video, I'm going to be going over correct sitting posture at a desktop computer. We're gonna be talking about how to sit in your chair, how to set up your desktop, how you know how far away things should be from you, distance, etc. So you're the most comfortable while you're working at home. So don't forget to subscribe and click that bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a video. So now we're going to get into it. So I set up my desktop here. And the first thing that you want to make sure of is that you have good support while you're sitting. <laughs> so definitely have a chair with a good supportive back, something that's firm, but that maybe has a bit of cushion to it as well, because you just want to make sure that you have good support. And with your chair, you want to make sure that it's not too low. You want to make sure the leg height is good. So <clears throat> your knee should really be at a 90 degree angle or around there. Definitely not lower than that or too high because that could create issues uh, for you. So you want to make sure that the chair height that you're using is correct. So if you can get a chair that is adjustable, right? But if you can't get a chair that's adjustable and you have to make do with what you have at home, um, you can buy things or you can use things at home to give your back the support that it needs. So you can sit on a cushion if you need to lengthen the distance right between your knee and your feet. <clears throat> And you can also um, roll up a towel and you can place that in the low back so that you can have a good back support because that's super important when you're having to sit down um, and work for long periods of time. You wanna make sure that you're adjusting your seating correctly to adapt to the surface that you're working on. So you also wanna make sure that you are high enough so that your arm is at a 90 degree angle to the desk and that your wrists are gonna be straight. Because if you're working and your wrists are angled like this a lot, it's going to cause issues, carpal tunnel, other issues going up, right? And then it'll create injury to the shoulders, neck, and upper back area if any of these areas are misaligned. So you wanna make sure that you're putting something so that you're sitting, so you're sitting higher, so that your arms and everything, your elbow is at a 90 degree angle or as close to 90 degrees as you can. You want to really, when you're um, adjusting your workspace, you really wanna make sure that you're reducing any of those repetitive strain injuries that can be created because of inconsistencies um, with the workspace. Moving on now with your feet, you want to make sure your feet are flat on the floor. However, what I found is that in order to support your back properly, the depth of the chair, right, from the front to the back of the chair might be too wide. And so one thing that I've found works really well is you tuck your bum right back into the, into the chair and you actually widen your stance so that your legs go on either side of the chair and you're actually curling your legs back a bit. Um, and I'll put a picture in here so I can show you exactly what I mean. So this way, your bum is right at the back of the chair and you're sitting up straight. So it actually helps you to keep a better posture while you're seated. So moving on to the desktop itself, you wanna make sure, like here, that your screen is at eye level because you don't wanna be looking down a lot. You want, because that's gonna promote that head forward posture, right? And create neck strain and upper back strain, which is something we don't want. So you wanna have your screen at eye level so you can work and not have to 
move your head too much. So a good guide is to place the monitor at, you know, about an arm's length away. Mine's maybe a little farther than that, but I'm not close, very close to the desk either. So you want to make sure you're close into the desk. Um, and so it's about an arm's length away from you. And you also want to make sure that the top of the screen is relatively at eye level. So for me, it might be a little too high. Um, so I would drop it down, like ideally drop it down a bit, but I don't mind this actually because I'm not craning my neck up. I feel like I can see the whole screen and I'm not making any extra movement in any way. So in order to do this correctly, to get your screen in the proper area, you might need to get a stand for your uh, monitor. All right. And that's what I have here. I have a nice um, little stand so that it raises it up, you know, six to eight inches or so off the table or off the desk so that I can have it in my correct line of sight. So the next tip would be to keep your, your keyboard right, right in front of you. So you want to keep it in front of you so that your wrists are um, supported by the table or the desk. So usually about four inches or so from the edge of the desk. Also, if you have to work and type for long periods of time, a rest for your wrist would be good to buy. You can get the like those gel ones that prop your wrist up so that your wrist is supported so you don't have to hold it the more you have to hold your wrists in a certain position it can create more wrist strain more forearm strain so you want to minimize that right so you can place something under your wrists to keep your wrists straight and flat the next tip you want to take note of and adapt is keeping your mouse relatively close to you you don't want to have to be you know constantly reaching or having it up high so that you're having to use it like this. You wanna have it close to you, close to your keyboard, so that you can type and you it's in close distance so you don't have to do any stretching or straining in any which way. Now the last tip I wanted to mention is that you're making sure to take frequent breaks because you don't want to be in a static position for a really long period of time. That's actually not going to be good because in doing that, you're actually creating repetitive strain issues because you are trying to hold a static position, right? For a really long period of time, those muscles are going to start to fatigue and you're going to really start to notice aches and pains develop. What I recommend is that you get up every hour on the hour for 10 minutes or so and even if you can only do five at least that's better it's actually recommended that you take a 15 minute break every hour however you know unfortunately I'm probably not able to do that all the time so as long as you're taking at least a five minute break get up walk around because that's going to help reduce any kind of extra added strain now also one of other thing I want to mention in that respect is that you actually want to move and shift up your position as often as you can. So within an hour, you can shift around, you know, four or five times so that you're not continually in that static position as well. So these tips that I've talked about, they're, they're a guideline, right? Because you want to have things at proper eye level, you want to have proper distance and things like that. You need more variety. You can't just stay static in that position again and expect it to be okay for eight hours a day. It's not, <laughs> okay? So you need to get up and move around and you also need to shift and move your position. So what I like to do is just shift from side to side even so you can shift to you know your left side and work maybe sh and shift your keyboard just so you're working a little bit like this shift to the other side play around lifting your feet up you know one leg up if you if you can and then switch to the other leg up if you can just move around doing small shifts in your posture is going to help you overall reducing any added strain anywhere 
So there you have it. That's my video on correct sitting posture at a desktop computer. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you a lot of valuable information. Now don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to let me know that you are enjoying videos like this. Don't forget to share this video with everyone you think could benefit. And of course, please leave me a comment. If you have any questions about what I've gone through and you want to know more, just please leave me a comment and I'll get right back to you. Now, up next, I have a really great video on correct walking posture, a how-to video. So just give a little click right there, that icon, and it's going to take you to the video. So go ahead and click right there.